Welcome to this tutorial on how to cut a 3D model into multiple pieces for efficient 3D printing. I will show two methods, using Prusa Slicer and Blender, both free softwares. And hello, I'm Mugiwara Cosplay, a fursuit maker and cosplay crafter. Slicing a 3D model into parts can be crucial for printing large objects or those with complex structures. It allows for easier printing and assembly. First, let's start with Prusa Slicer. After opening Prusa Slicer, import your 3D model. To cut your model, go to the toolbar on the left and click on the cut one. Then move the plane around until you are ready to cut. There are some more settings you can play around with too if you want. I didn't really touch them, so I can't really go into details. When you are ready, click perform cut. And there you go. You can continue to cut into more pieces if you need to. Then you just arrange each piece until they each fit on the build plate. Then hide all except one and slice. Once exported, you go back and hide it and unhide one of the others and slice again. Continue to do that until you have exported the G-code for all the parts. This method should work for most printers since Prusa Slicer supports a lot of different 3D printers. Another slicer, Bamboo Studio, also has the same tool included. If you for some reason prefer to use another slicer, one that doesn't have a cut tool, then the second method is Blender. Open Blender and import your model. Go to Edit Mode. Select the Bisect tool from the toolbar. It might be hidden under the Knife tool. Draw a line where you want to cut. Go to Select at the top and click Select Loops Inner Region. Tap P on your keyboard and click Selection. And that cuts your model. But we are not done yet. There are holes at the cuts that we don't want to be there. In Edit Mode, hold LT down on your keyboard and click on one of the vertices. This selects all vertices around the hole, then tap F. This create a face that covers the hole. Do this with all the holes. And there you go. You can continue to do this if you need it in more pieces. Once ready, you just export each part separately as an STL file and continue in your slicer. Those are the two easy methods that I know. Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. By the way, I make a lot of tutorials on how to make fursuits and creature cosplays, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more. See you in the next video.